Have some funky fresh moves. Captain Crangle! Skate Lad! Woke Girl! Timo Supremo! Shouldn't you children be in school? Come on, Timo! Supremo, I've lost my patience with you. Okay, kids, here you go. Thanks, Mrs. Creo. It was very nice of you to have us over. Nada, nada. <laughs> it's nothing. I'll be right back with some guacamole. I can't wait for you to try my mom's taquitos. They're the best. They smell mighty good. Indeed. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's Governor Kevin. But I'm still eating my taquito. Evildoers just don't respect the snack time of others. Hey, kids. Sorry to bust in on taquito time, but we've got a big problem over at the first big state bank. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. We're on our way. Oh, listen, can you score me some flan? Ma, we just realized we have to do something very important. Sorry to eat and run, Mrs. C. You kids with your lives. <laughs> okay, just be back by 7.30. By 7.30, we'll be over at Crandall's house finishing our homework. You kids do get better grades when you work together. And thanks for the taquitos. They're big. Move it. Monkeys, we ain't got all day here. I can't wait to see the boss's face when it starts running cold. I cash. It will rain no such thing, bad guys. Ah, out of the way, runs. Not a chance. Surrender now. You don't know what you're dealing with here, see? Yeah, you got some bigger things to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> so, what'll it be? A big dust-up or a big blow-up? Timo, stand down. <laughs> what? They're getting away! Never mind them. We've got a much larger problem at hand. That is one big bomb. Indeed. Uh, either of you know how to defuse a bomb? Don't you have something in your utility belt? No. Unfortunately, my belt isn't equipped with the bomb diffuser. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but we've only got 15 seconds left to do it. 15 seconds? We need more time! More time? Of course! Brenda, do you have any gum? I never leave home without We don't have time to blow bubbles, Cap. Just a sec. Whoa! <gasps> oh, good idea, Cap. I don't hear no boom. There was supposed to be a boom. Maybe the clock is slow. Now, my big, big plan was spoiled by little, little kids. We'll deal with them later. Late night robberies hurt my back. Why can't bad guys work during the day? Here's a great big bomb for you, Mr. Paulson. Thanks, kids. We'll take it from here. Hand me that blast shield, Sam. There's no defusing you, Timo. You're the bomb. <laughs> Looks like you got here just in time. Huh? Oh, no. Look at the time. It's 8 o'clock. I promised my mom I'd be home by now. Me too. We better get home fast. Say, Governor Kevin, any chance we can get a ride home? Oh, sure, kids. Hop in. We'll give you the lowdown on Mr. Large and his organization along the way. 
Mr. Large is a big time baddie with the emphasis on big time and baddie. He was the head of a giant criminal organization known as the Big Syndicate and was just released from the state facility for the organized and criminal on a technicality. I disdain technicalities. Don't we all? But Mr. Large wasn't in the bank. No, we suspect those were his old associates, Ernie the Hat, Mickey the Shirt, and Rosie the Purse. So what was the deal with the great big bomb? Your ball, Chief. We believe Large is attempting to attract members into a new big syndicate by staging really big, attractive robberies. Then I guess it's up to Timo Supremo to cut his big plans down to size. Now that we know what we're going to do about Mr. Large, what are we going to do about our parents? We're late! Don't worry, kids. I'm sure your parents will understand that you were on important state business. <gasps> or maybe they won't. Well, see you kids later. Do you have any idea what time it is, young man? I can explain. Whoopa, you promised to be home by 8 o'clock. I know, but... And Hector, is your homework done? It will be. We talked about it over dessert, and we think you'll find that our decision is very fair. Now listen, listen to, to your mother. You're grounded. Grounded? In other news, the superhero trio known as Timo Supremo saved the first big state bank from disaster last night. And got grounded for it. I don't know how we're supposed to fight crime from home. Well, at least we get to do our homework together. Wait a minute. This just in. The chief has just announced that Timo Supremo is temporarily unavailable to fight crime. But that citizens should not worry because the chief is on the job. <laughs> the chief is on the job. <laughs> Goons and lackeys, it seems the time has come for Mr. Large's criminal organization to expand. Big time. was the scene last night after Mr. Large and his big organization stole the governor's mansion. <gasps> the outrageous act, just the latest in the series of big, big things Mr. Large has stolen during his ongoing reign of crime. Earth Mom, we gotta stop him. You're still grounded, mister. I wonder why that Timo Supremo isn't doing anything about this. Maybe they're grounded. They strike me as being more responsible than that. Anyway, Gene, I've got a Mary Conley Cosmetics meeting tonight. You make sure you know who doesn't go any you know where. Okay, Mom. We've got to do something. By the time we get off being grounded, there's going to be nothing big left to say. But we can't disobey our parents. Hector's right. I know it's hard, but you're handling it the right way. If only there was some way to bring the bad guys to us. Brenda, that's it. We can lure Mr. Large and his criminal organization here with the crime so big they won't be able to resist. Gene, we're gonna need some help. Thing. Thanks. I need to know this stuff if I'm going to be a famous prop master. Everything that's big in town now belongs to Mr. Lodge. Not everything. What are you talking about? I think I found something you won't be able to resist. World's largest diamond to visit local family. Today only. Jess, look at that rock! I am... Um... Goons and lackeys, I think I just found us one more little job. <laughs> I don't see no security, Mr. L. And there's no cops neither, even. This is gonna be just like taking a giant diamond from a family.
There it is. Come to Big Daddy. Hey, this diamond's not real. That's right, Mr. Large. Not real. Just like your chances of getting away with everything. You little, little kids have spoiled my big, big plans once too often. Goons and lackeys, get him! <laughs> Like your big plan shrunk in the wash, Mr. Large. Maybe so. But let's see how you solve a problem this <gasps> big. Ah! A bomb with a digital clock. Bubble gum isn't gonna work on that one. That's right, little ones. So bye-bye now. Well, I may not know how to defuse a bomb, but I do know how to beat the clock. Why you big chat? Mr. Large, if you're gonna think big, you better not overlook the little things. You little bread aisle! That's right, let's go. Hey, hey, Timo, you've done it again. You've saved the state. Crandall, what is the governor doing here? Well, I, I, I was just uh, taking out the trash. What have you been up to, mister? Don't worry, Mom, we didn't leave the house. He's telling the truth. Ma'am, on behalf of our great state, I'd like to ask you to reduce the children's sentence. Sorry, Governor, I need to make sure they've learned their lesson. Those kids are still grounded. Oh, man. Come on, cut it out. I'm not doing nothing. You'll be doing nothing for quite some time in prison, Snivler. You don't have to yell. You never should have done it, Snibbler. Me? What'd I do? It wasn't my fault. I get blamed for everything around here. I have an alibi. I was out of town. In fact, I'm out of town now. Yeah, that's right. I'm in Cleveland and it's snowing. Well, I am in town and I'm arresting. Now get a move on it, whiner. Actually, it's Snibbler. Way to go, Timo. You know, do you realize that for the first time in my entire administration, our state is completely free of supervillains? Timo Supremo! I think if you'd given my five-year anti-crime plan that all-important sixth year, sir, you would have found, uh... Right. Now, I want you kids to take some well-deserved time off. Thanks, Governor Kevin. My rope could use a rest. Are you sure the state will be safe, sir? Absolutely. He's right, Runce. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Ah, uh, What am I doing here? I'm not insidious. I'm not cruel. I'm just misunderstood. <laughs> well, I am both insidious and cool, and soon a certain state will know just how insidious and cool a baron can be. What are you chirping about, Count? Didn't you get busted by kids? It is Baron. I am a Baron. Oh, yeah, the insidious Baron Blitz. Brought down by Timo Supremo. Don't say that name. Timo <laughs> Supremo, Timo <laughs> Supremo. <laughs> Well, boys, I would like to stay and make you my personal servants, but I've really got to be moseying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's my new posse! Perhaps you have heard of these despicable desperados. Billy the Kid, John Wesley Harden, and Frank and Jesse James. Are these the same inmates? yippee ki -yay. Get along, little schnitzels! This time off has been great, Cap. Try to remember to call me Crandall around school, Hector. Well, I am starting to miss my other identity. And I could sure use a good adventure. My mom has been making me spend all my free time with Barkley. Your kid brother saying any real words yet? Nope. Neither have the twins. It's just biga booga booga biga all day long. And Barkley rules a lot. Who needs them? America needs them. That's who. Crandall, Brenda, and Hector, the governor has requested your presence in his office. You are excused. There goes our vacation. Action at last. Rope me, Brenda. I can't. You what? I have to pick up Barkley. Sorry, but I promised Mama. I understand. Come on, Hector. We can change into our super threads in the boys' room. Sorry. Aren't there usually three of them, sir? 
Good point, Chief. Where's Brenda? She was detained, sir, but I'm sure Skate Lad and I can handle anything you throw at us. Well, I'm throwing quite a bit here. Baron Blitz is back. At least he's alone. The Baron's not alone. He's being aided and abetted by a gang of famous outlaws from the Old West. I bet he reanimated them, just like the time he brought the WAT's presidents to life. This is a job for every member of Teemo Supremo. Rope Girl, Captain C here. Baron Blitz is back. This time he's got cowboys. We need your help. Sorry, Cap. I'm still babysitting Barkley. I understand. Skate Lad, it looks like it's just you and me this time. You could take the chief, or he could stay here with me. Yellow, it's your gov. He what? Oh, bummer, Ruski. Baron Blitz is robbing the mint. <laughs> oh, call me an insidious old fool, but I never get tired of robbing state mints. I guess I just have a heart of gold. <laughs> so, we meet again, Baron. You! Get them! Chica! What's that? That was almost too easy. Be sure to tell your rope girl about my rope men. <laughs> The Baron and his gang are gone. And so is the state's gold. They had us outnumbered, Cap. We didn't have a chance. Timo Supremo always has a chance. We just have a better chance when we're all here. Hey, excuse me. My mother gave me that lamp. Oh, this is a real downer. Baron Blitz bought our furniture supplier, and now he's repossessing everything. Even the kitchen sink. I can't believe it, sir. The state is broken. The Baron is rich. I know we could have beaten Blitz at the mint, but Brenda had to stay home and babysit her little brother. Oh, well, I can dig it. I've got a baby brother, too, bros. Ah, there's my little bundle of joy. Looks like a bundle of baldness to me. No offense, Governor Kevin. Well, he's 38 and weighs 240, but he's still my little guy. Though it's kind of tough bouncing him on my knees these days. You know, I tore some cartilage last Christmas. Hey! Hey, you cannot take my chair! I am your lawfully elected governor, and I have a constitutional right to swivel! Let's face it, Cap. Timo just isn't too supremo with that rope, girl. Did someone mention little old me? Brenda! And Barkley. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I had to bring him. <laughs> oh, I'll cut that out. <laughs> Looks like somebody likes his big sister. Yes? Now? We'll be there. That was Governor Kevin. Blitz and his gang are at it again. It's go time. All aboard? Chichika! Sorry, I can't go. The gurgler needs me. We need you. The governor needs you. The whole state needs you. They're taking furniture. I can't leave Barkley, and I don't have my rope with me. Okay, then it looks like it's just you and me again, Skate Lad. Those aren't very good odds, Cap. I know. Let's put on our super threads. Aw, oh, man, it's all wrinkled. <laughs> yeah, dance, dance. Danke, boys. your partner and give him a fish. Now you are doing the Baron Blitz. <laughs> What's that? Chichika! Polka? <laughs> I have my rope, boys, and you have no rope, girl. How very sad for you. And now I regret I must go. Until we fight again! <laughs> oh, look at your little choochy face, you wish you were a cutie! <laughs> oh, don't try to thank me. It's all part of my Bratwurst for Babies program. <laughs> and so, the game begins. I'd offer you chairs, Crandall and Hector, but I don't have any. They've all been repoed. I haven't been this down since they canceled Disco Train. What a bummer. I think I've figured out the Baron's weakness. And if my plan works, the state will get all of its money back. And you'll get all your furniture back. 
That'd be most groovy, kids. Now, let me ask you a question. Seriously, do you think a beanbag chair would look good in that corner? I have no idea, sir. Mm hmm I'm kind of leaning that way. Baron Blitz is at it again. He's robbing the Silver Exchange. That's our cue to start Operation Baby Brother. And that's my cue to call my broker. Brenda, meet us at my house. Bring your rope and your bouncing baby brother. Everybody got the plan? Check. Then let us do it. Rope me, Brenda. <laughs> Again, tie them, boys. Hey, rope boys, let's party. <laughs> yeah, glorious victory is mine. Not so. Baron Blitz. I don't think you've met the fourth member of Teemo. We call him Diaper Dude. Bring him out, Chief. Oh, my. Who oh, come to Baron, my little Bavarian pretzel? Oh, your skinny shaft out in the finest school. Your little arms are like a plump summer sausage. So what you continue to touch it? I knew I'd get you eventually, Baron. You? What about Timo Supremo? Yeah, Chief. What about us? We're the ones who've been battling Blitz. Why, you ungrateful kids. I think everyone should quit acting like babies. <laughs> Except you, little brother. Banda! <gasps> he said my name! You heard him? He said Brenda! Not Mama, not Dada, but Brenda! Won't be long before he's got his own battle cry. Way to go, Barkley. See ya. Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna go play with the twins. The name Hector is gonna sound good in stereo. <laughs> 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 